Hey guys, Ryu here with not a bit, and this one's gonna be for people who like to take things a bit slower. We're gonna be extruding a face uh, from Geo. This operation is not really complicated, takes about 40 minutes to one hour, so it's really quick. And you know, I'm gonna walk you through all this process. We're of course going to make it a bit shorter because you know, uh, we're making a video here, we don't want to die of old age. So we're going to first add an object to the scene. Now this is the most traumatic and important part of creating any objects. After you open a blender, you might have a shock because there's nothing there. You know, you need to add some shit to it. So usually what we do is we add the cube. Um, so we're gonna press Shift A, and that's one more time, Shift A, and that's one more time, Shift A, and you're gonna add a cube. Now, you see cube appeared out of nowhere, but this is because we clicked Shift A and we just kind of add a cube, so that's why it's there. And we're going to be extruding one of these faces, probably the one that stares at us kind of at an angle, a uh, bit of a prickly way, but uh, we're going to do. And the face has four corners and four edges, and because all of them are equal, the edges, we're going to call it a quad. So uh, let's agree it's a quad. Probably it isn't, but you know. Let's say it is. Now vertices, what are vertices? Well, vertices are small points on this cube. So when I go to edit mode by pressing tab and go into vertex mode with my lovely machine tools add-on, you will see that vert in here. And these are kind of like dots that define the size and you know dimensions of this face. And when I go to tab and press on edge, you will see edges. And when I go to tab and press face, you're gonna see a face. And this is exactly what we're going to be extruding today. Now, I haven't decided really um, whether I'm going to be extracting inwards or outwards. Um, don't know if I feel like, you know, um, sexually aggressive or passive. But we're going to, you know, th see how things um, evolve from now. But definitely we're going to do some extrusions. Now, extrusions need to be done from the face. Now, most people think that extrusions have to be done from the face, but you can actually extrude an edge. So let me show you how to do it uh, before we get to extruding a face. So I'm going to press tab and go to edge mode, click here, shift D to duplicate it. Let me just do it one more time for you because it could be a bit confusing. So click here, shift D, and that's one more time. Click here, shift D and right click to cancel and now you cannot see anything it's a bit disorienting like in space i know but we're gonna do and now we need to kind of uh, divide this edge in half so sort of slice it if you know what i mean kind of like you know like if left side and the right side and there's something in the middle called another vert so we're gonna right click and subdivide it and nothing happened and that's where most of the people get into trouble but i'll show you how to you know, uh, overcome this uh, obstacle. So we're going to press tab and go to vertex mode. And now we got three verts, which is a bit like magic, you know. Um, so I call it a Hogwarts cube. So now uh, we're going to click on this vert and shift control B to split it. I, I know this is mind boggling. So let me try this again. Shift control B and split it. And now we got four verts. It's like the multiplayer like fucking minx, man. So now what we're going to do is go to edge mode and select this edge here. Again, you can't see anything which is disorienting, which is the whole point of this tutorial, really, uh, to make you feel disoriented and lost. Now, you're going to press Alt D to move it up, but you can see this a bit wobbly, like a last on a Friday evening. And that's one more time, Alt D. And one more time, Alt D. You know, let me just go slow-mo, Alt D. And you can see that I can extrude it uh, to the top when I'm, if I press Alt D and Z, uh, it's going to go up and um, it's going to get extruded, which is fantastic. Uh, this is exactly what we wanted. Now let's uh, just press Control L and delete this whole thing. Now let's go back to the subject at hand, uh, which is extruding. We're only seven minutes into this video, so we still have plenty of time. So there's no need to rush this. And we're going to be now extruding this face. Um, so what I'm gonna do now is uh, something completely outrageous. I'm going to select one of these faces uh, according to my preference, 
which some people might find offensive. Now I'm going to select this face here because it's the closest to me. I'm a man, so I'm fucking lazy. So I'm just gonna go for the shortcut and I'm going to press I to inset it, which is something amazing that you can do with faces. You can inset them and uh, don't confuse it with incest because it's a little bit different. So uh, then what I'm gonna do is press E and extrude it. Now, before we're gonna talk about extrusion, let me tell you a funny story. Now, last time I was trying to record this video, because I was trying to record this video several times, I got stuck in this very moment uh, because I, you know, I, I didn't really know if I wanna go on and, and sort of continue with this operation. I thought it might be a bit too much for one tutorial. So, you know, I just kind of had the internal uh, discussion with myself. I went for a walk to the beach. I came back and I decided that, you know, what the hell, let's do it. I mean, you know, you just live on the once. So uh, here we go. I'm going to just do it, guys. So hope you're ready for this. I'm going to extrude this face outwards, not inwards. I, I said that, you know, I'm not really sure if I want to extrude it inwards or outwards, but um, I'm just going to, you know, gamble here and let's say that you're going to do it outwards and that's what we really want. I mean, you really don't know what you want, which is why I call it 3D. So uh, E and extrude it outwards and we're going to have an extrusion. So you see, this is a very simple and quick operation. doesn't really take much time. Uh, if you want to create something a bit more complicated, you might want to start in your early 20s or maybe early teens uh, and you're going to be able to finish modeling about 30 years old. So so guys, this is it for this tutorial. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you're going to join me on the next tutorial in which we're going to be extruding this face inwards, which is also a fantastic operation. I just don't want to overwhelm you at the moment and just throw too much at you because, you know, uh, this could cause some panic and uh, mass hysteria. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and I catch you in my next tutorial.